Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anka and today we're going to talk about back to school. So the high school, how to approach it and how to make the best time of your life. So let's get started. Starting with the information, if you are the first year student, if this is your first year of high school, just make as many friends as you can during the first few days. So you just go to the people, try to find your group. Don't worry if not everybody are going to be friendly with you. Not everybody are so open-minded. So don't worry about it. Just you will find some people that will like you and then your group will expand. So just don't attach to the first person you're going to find. Just try to be a little bit more open-minded and try to do it that way. As well, if they decide to go out, go ahead, go out with them. Don't miss any of the meetings that are in the beginning of the school year because you still have time, you still don't have homework, you still don't have so much stuff to do. So just have some profit from it, go out, hang out with the friends, make some friendships and have fun. Number two, just don't panic from the beginning. Grades are grades. You will still have time to do a lot of tests, do a lot of homeworks, do a lot of exams. So don't panic from the first day of the school that you have to be the best student, that you have to take the best notes and you cannot go out. Yes, you can go out and make friends. This is also your youth. This is your time when you are young and just have fun and have some profit from it. Number three, very important that took me a lot of time to think when I was younger is find your own system to make notes. Either it's an iPad, computer, on the notebook, on the pages, like separate pages. For example, that's what I did during my high school period. I just had separate pages with the notes. So it was not in the notebook. I realized that it's not really good for me. It's also very heavy to bring all the notebooks because I used to have like six, seven classes during one day and I had to have six, seven notebooks. So it was for me easier to just bring some pages and then have them all together at my home instead of bringing the notebooks that are pretty heavy. So find your own way of making notes Kind of you want to do it in a bigger paper or on a smaller paper if you want to use a lot of colors or you want to use one color. And as well, find a way of writing the stuff shorter. So that way you will be able to save a lot of time during the classes. So you will make the notes with some shortcuts. But remember the shortcuts. So if you're reading them later on, you will not be surprised what they mean. So always use the same shortcuts. And yeah, find your own system of making notes. And that way you will be able to study the best because don't just look that your friend who has the best grades do this and make notes like this because this is her or his way of doing notes and probably that's why they are studying from them very quickly because this is their own way of making notes so as well find your own way you can also have some type of suggestions from them or from the internet how you can do it but find your own system and for sure this will be much easier for you than finding someone else's system to uh, be able to work from this, to learn from them. Number four, find which books are actually very important. I really hated it in high school that you had to buy tons of books and then you didn't really use them a lot. So some people buy one book for two people, some people don't buy the books. And honestly, for example, from poly books, they were totally useless. And as well, don't feel bad for buying the used books. So if you are able to buy the used books because they are the same as last year or two years ago or three years ago, just do it because it's going to be much cheaper and probably you will not use them a lot. So just check how much you will use the books and if they are uh, maybe still good from the last year or other years, maybe use the books that your siblings were using or buy them just from other kids that are selling them because they finished high school. Number five, I really recommend you to have some type of calendar or planner that will allow you to put all the exams, tests, homework that you have to do, maybe presentations. That way you will have everything in one place. Either it's going to be on your phone, on your laptop, or in a paper form. And whatever you prefer, if it's calendar or more like a planner, you will also knew it. It's not that I can tell you what is the best way of doing it. You have to find your own way. Some people use Notion, some people use just Google Calendar. Other people use paper calendar and they have it the same every single year. Other people use every single year different planner or different calendar. So find your way of being organized, but always have a place to write the stuff outside of your notebook because then you have to look it up in your notebook. So have another thing for the dates, for the things that are important, for the things that you have to study for and for the things that are upcoming. So as I told you, homework, tests, exams, some type of uh, presentations or any other type of things that you may have at uh, high school. Number six, always have things that you prefer to use. So if you prefer to write with blue color pen, you buy the blue color pen. If black, you do black. If 
pencil, you use pencil. If you need some colors, buy the colors or some stickers or some stuff that will allow you to start me the best. In my opinion, this is the best thing, but also don't force yourself to use the colors. For example, for me, during the notes, during the class, I barely use the colors because they just disturb me and I cannot focus anymore. So basically what happens for me is that I start to color the stuff and I cannot write anymore. So I do the notes very, very, let's say, not aesthetic, but this is my way of doing notes and I do it mostly in a blue pen, but I don't mind using a black pen. But I also recently at university started to do the notes both in pen and pencil. And then in pen they are the most important stuff and pencil had less important stuff. However, later on in the house, I will either redo the notes and make them even shorter or I will uh, highlight the stuff from my notes. So this is your choice. You don't have to carry all the pencil case to the school like everybody do. Maybe you just need pen or pen and pencil or maybe pen and one highlighter. So as well, don't use too much stuff to just uh, be more confused what you are doing. Just use the right amount of stuff, but also have it back home or in high school that way so you are able to use it. Number seven, remember grades are not the most important part of high school and always have it in the back of your head unless you are really, really trying to get some type of scholarship where you have to have the highest GPA of the school or something like this. Okay, or you have some type of your, let's say, inside need of having the best grades. Okay, but if you are doing this for your family, for your friends, or you feel some pressure, just don't do it. Grades are not the most important part. In my opinion, it's much better to focus on the stuff that interests you instead of being the best from all the other stuff because here how is your mindset how is your mentality this is the most important and not what you have later on your diploma this is important as well what you have on your diploma but it's not important that you have all the best grades because no one is the best in everything so you will either not sleep or be bad mentally or you will have good grades only from the stuff that interests you and that's going to the next point so actually focus what are your interests if you figured them out already because you are pretty young starting high school or being in high school, even in the last grade, is still a young age. However, in Europe, in Poland, we are kind of forced to decide what we want to do because in Poland, for example, we have Matura exam, which is the end of high school exam, and we have to prepare from special subjects that are on the advanced level. So let's say AP level subject, and we have to pass them in order to get to the university. So you have to know upfront what you will prepare for for the three years. Now it's four, but when I was in high school, it was still three years of high school and you will prepare from it. So for example, for me, it was biology, chemistry, and physics. I knew I didn't need physics. From physics, I had not really bad grades, but very normal grades, let's say. From history, that was not interest of mine. Let's say social studies, political studies, or stuff like this, I had not the best grades. Geography I liked, but I didn't have like the love to it, so my grades were not so good. From Polish, I had pretty good grades. From mathematics, I had really good grades because I really liked it. I guess studying economics and finance makes sense that I liked it. From biology and chemistry, it depended, but they were the things that I was focusing on. So they were the things that I was putting the most on it. And let's say history, that was the thing that I didn't care. And I was not enjoying studying it, and I was not caring about the history, so I didn't focus on the good grades on it. So just keep your mind on the things that you like to do and the things that you think in the future will be very useful for you during the university or your future job. So just focus on them instead of being, as I told you, instead of being the best in everything. Next point that may be obvious for some people, but not for everybody, be respectful for the teachers and actually be good for them. So that way they will help you one day. Trust me, I'm not saying about the grades, but they may help you with some type of situations that may come up. So just be friendly with all the teachers. If you don't like some teacher because of something, just Keep quiet and be a good girl or good boy and just don't show up, show off because it may not be the best at the end of something. Because for example, later on, even with the grades, but I mean like sometimes something may happen, the grades shouldn't happen because of ethics, but we all know we are all people and weird things may happen. But sometimes you may have some problems. For example, you have to be absent at school and the teachers, they don't like you, they will actually not understand why you are absent, they will not care why you are absent and that may happen because of many reasons like health reasons or even traveling or something whatever you may, may want to do just be let's say on a respectful way you don't have to be very friendly with them just respect them and last but not least you may figure it out from all the other points earlier but find a balance between studying and living so as i told you try to hang out with friends try to make friends maybe study in a group if you like to do it and if your friends like to do it exchange the notes don't be the person who is keeping the notes from themselves 
Don't be a person who never gives anything to anybody. Just give it to people. As I told you earlier, not everybody will be able to study from your notes, but if your friend doesn't come to school, just give them the notes so they at least have something. If they ask you, obviously, or maybe offer, maybe offer if you if you like this person. Uh, and even if you don't like the person, just share it with everybody. This is also the thing that I think is very important. Just share your stuff and find the balance between studying and having friends. So a lot of people have friends from high school. My best friend is from my high school. I know as well that many people in the past, for example, in the age of my parents, as well, as well my parents, they have friends from the high school. So, you know, this is a pretty important part of your life and try to find this balance because it doesn't make sense to just push, push, push and has nothing from the friendships and from living. You are still young and just enjoy this period and as well enjoy it as much as you can to Past, to have good grades from the thing that you like to do, to get maybe to the future university or future job. So just remember about it, to not be too panicked, too crazy about just studying, but as well about the friendships and what you can get from school. Maybe you will have some type of sports or any other after school activities. Also profit from it because it's the most amazing time of your life. You are still young, you are still careless, you don't have any being outside of high school mostly. So just have fun and keep this balance between school and the private life thank you for watching i hope i helped you today if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button that helps me a lot with the youtube algorithm so this video will reach more people and if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel i talk a lot about studying abroad erasmus running europe exchange and my stay abroad so subscribe to my channel if you're interested in this type of topics and here i leave you the video about differences between polish and italian university and study abroad playlist thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll see you in another video